bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's played host to both a men's and a women's World Cup final, but today it's the host for college football. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And this season is officially underway. Fields from the four. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. The Bruins have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. his man and they take him down immediately I think he could have taken a risk down the field but he played it safe instead and that's one of the keys to winning ball games tries to get out of trouble but he can't shake the defense sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack that's what happened there Here's third and nine. Ball on the 31. Let's go, D. Crosses out to the tailback. Made at the 27. That is a loss of four yards. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Quinn, the return man. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. at the 47. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 47. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. He's wrapped up for the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Fourth and long here after the sack. Barber back to return it. He drops it. And he's tackled at the 31. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of a return man is to catch the ball. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Brooks gets a carry left side. Got some open field. He's at midfield. Out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. 
He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That, that makes, makes it second and eight. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. And down he goes at the nine yard line. For the carry. And he's taken down around the 10 yard line. Loss of one on the play. That brings him second and goal. Fights forward to about the 10. No game. Not over here. That makes it third and goal. Not over here. Go. Go. Patriot, Patriot. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Crimson Tides came into today's game ranked number one in the country. Boy, are their critics going to have a field day after this performance. And for Virginia Tech, they start the season with a victory. Virginia Tech gets the W, 31-13. Meanwhile, the Aggies and the Utes part of the battle for the beehive food. Here are two teams that hate each other 365 days a year. And today was no different. The Utes get the W, 31-26. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Holtz has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They hand it off. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. Once he got past the line of scrimmage, you knew he'd be going a long way. That easily could have been six. From the 41-yard line, first down. He's on the run. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and five. Makes it out to about the 34-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Brought down at about the 37-yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. it to the outside no good on fourth down and they'll fail on fourth down that's a big time stop here by the defense i know we're only in week one but this defense looks like they're in mid-season form 
and offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. That makes it second and two. UCLA is up by a touchdown. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Nice gain as he works to the right side. That's good enough to pick up the first down. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. It's a great tackle at the 41 yard line. That makes it second and two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Seven yards there for the halfback, and he also picks up a new set of downs. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drive. Tackles him hard at the 37-yard line. Call it a loss of three yards. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and 13. 13. From the 37-yard line, second down. There he goes. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep in their own territory. Nice run there as they work the outside. UCLA is up seven. Run up the middle. That'll make it third and one. Nice run, and he's brought down. Decent pickup. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That is a loss of three yards. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Screen intercepted. And he's level at the 20. That was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. These are plays you don't expect a freshman to make, but this kid has the potential to be something really special. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-0, UCLA. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Set. We're not 
Hines takes a handoff. He's to the 40. And they make the stop at the 48. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's a three-yard pickup on the option. From their own 49-yard line, third down. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Good tackle there in space. They get four yards on that pass play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Newton to punt. He takes it at the 12. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's going to try and scramble, and he has it on the corner. Decides to slide. UCLA is up a score. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38. Hands it to the back. Runs outside for a nice game. They'll give it off here, and they're not going to get it. Great stop. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it fourth and two. Thomas is the putter. Tries to get around the corner. He's tackled at the 29. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Goes into the halfback on the screen. And he is drilled at the 31-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 31. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He did not get to the first down marker. Is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line.
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. UCLA up seven points. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Quick strike to the back, no good. Check 13, check 13. Hey, check, check. Let's go! Gets it, he's in space. Tackle made at the 43. Around the 42-yard line. Fires in a hurry. Interception. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Nevada. the play by the defender that was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown the extra point to tie this game up he splits the uprights with the extra point Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Bulldogs were ranked number five. The W, they hope, will keep them there. A total spanking. The Bulldogs thrash them and take the big victory. All right, Reese, back to our game. Watkins has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He's got the corner, and down he goes around the 29-yard line. Brooks comes away with two yards on the carry. run there grabs a pitch looking for the corner and he's taken down around the 49 yard line We've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That'll make it 77. It's the tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. That's how we do, D. That's how we do, That's how we do. They don't want none of this. That'll bring up third and eight. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. 
They use their personnel. Caught over the middle. He's brought down in the open field. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Passes to the right. It's picked off. And now he's got room to run. Unbelievable. This defense just continues to impress. This just must feel like a bad dream to this whole thing gone right today and his quarterback is really off target from their own 41 yard line it's first down balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds First and ten. Scrambling around. Brought down. Right around the 38 yard line. He got three yards there on the scramble. Nevada will take their first time out of the half. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's on the run, and they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. second time out of the half. So that sack will back them up a little now. They're looking at a difficult third and 13. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But 
Great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's gonna come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Well, Reese and David, I know you're jealous. This is the kind of games you guys like to do. But that's Thursday night. This is the big show. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25-yard. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Taken down at the 26. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Makes it to the 34. That's a team of the Feeds it to the back. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Runs it left for a decent game. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Lane gets the call. They go to the left for a nice game. That's a team four on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. That's a great tackle at the 47. That makes it second and 14. Herbie, this guy headed to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We don't know how bad it is, but right now it doesn't look like he's likely to play any more football. He's at the 40, and he's tackled right around the 34. That makes it first and 10. Here's the eighth play of the series. Key 81, key 81. Not today, you are. Not today. Get up! Has some daylight. He's tackled around the 25 yard line. That's good for the off again makes it to the 17 first down here's play number 10 on the drive ready Quinn again tackled after decent pickup call the game six yards that'll make it second and four so it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they'll run them again. And they make the stop at the 10-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive.
What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down. First and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. Room around the corner. Touchdown, Wolfpack. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. This six-point lead will soon become seven with the extra point. It's still in the third quarter, but we've seen a great game the whole way. I wouldn't be surprised to see if these guys drive it back down the field again and tie it up. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Horned Frogs will rank number 17. Another W, and they hope another move up in the polls. And for TCU, they grab a W in the season opener. TCU takes the two-touchdown win. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. Watkins looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And he's taken down at the 31. Nevada is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Makes it out to about the 43. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That makes it second and two. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. Some movement on the line. False start offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out Still there, it's right bound right. to happen occasionally. First and 15 now after the penalty. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Loss of two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. They come out in a five-wide set. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle at the 22-yard line. It's up, and he hooked it left. So sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. Didn't happen that time. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And down he goes at about the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Nevada up seven points. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That makes it seven. Here we go. 
and he throws it away. And that will make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Barber is back deep to return. Barber fields it at the 38. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Kirk, I remember you had nights like this. You know, with all these interceptions, there isn't a quarterback that's ever played that doesn't start to look over his shoulder, wondering if, in fact, they might be thinking about pulling the trigger. So far, his offensive coordinator is believing in him, but he better get going here in a hurry. Even though it hasn't been his day so far, he can still help this team. He just needs to be positive out there. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Looks left, fighting his tailback. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. That makes it second and six. Slings it, and he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. They'll give it off here. He makes his way to about the 18. They're in the red zone, but that doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. They'll bring him down around the 19-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. Throws a bullet. Zips it to the tight end, and they push him out at the 13 yard line. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. Nevada's lead is a touchdown. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He gets sacked on the play. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Nevada is up by a touchdown. Here he goes. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Here we go! Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Middle. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. First and ten. Ball on the 26. Run, 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 run. And off up the middle and he's stuffed. 
I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. It makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. That'll make it third and nine. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He throws right. Brought down at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, first down, Nevada is up seven. He's at the 30, and he's finally shoved out at the 18-yard line. That makes it first and 10. So it's first and 10 after the big run. And they hit him in the backfield. This is the ninth play of this drive. Makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Here we go. Quick out to his receiver. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. Touchdown, Nevada! He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11-play, 89-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Watkins is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Makes it to the 44. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. He's out of bounds at the 50-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Top right, top right. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Run it! He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Taken down 
around the 35 yard line. That makes it second and two. Brooks with a pitch, and they'll get him in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. Third down. They'll line it up again on third down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Five wide. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. And he's hit immediately. Quick strike to the receiver. They go with a pitch to the right. They don't get it. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. That's a deep five on the way. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. UCLA is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Newton awaits the snap. Tries to get around the corner. Brought down at the 25-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? There's a strike complete. Brought down in the open field. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Caught with room to work. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Under heavy pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of two yards on the Fourth and three. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Fifty one, Mike. Mike, fifty one. Just over a minute left. Fires out quickly to the tailback. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. We're about set to start things up again. Here we go. Green oh, they try running left. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Bruins using their third and last timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Yeah. 
Hands it off. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. First down. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 21-7, Nevada. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.